Good morning. I am uh, Dr. Kaushal Lipli. I am consultant neurosurgeon in Apollo Jubilee Hills, Hyderabad. Today, I am here to brief you about one of the new advancement in neurosurgery, which is called as intraoperative MRI. So, for uh, majority of you people should be aware of that. What is MRI? So, MRI is an imaging scan where we can detect small tumors or any abnormalities in the brain, not only in brain, in different uh, organs of the body. So imagine something like that scan, which we can do it, perform that procedure inside the operation theater. So it's, a, it's one of the new advancement in neurosurgery and we can be able to perform a magnetic resonance imaging, that is MRI, while you're operating inside the operation theater. Why is it so important? Why is it so helpful to us? It is so helpful because it is a real-time scan. It will be able to tell us whether where exactly the tumor is in real time and whether you are able to completely remove the tumor in real time so previously what we are uh, what we were doing is we were supposed to close the uh, finish the operation and then if we have a doubt then do an mri and if there is something inside the mri again get back the patient and reopen it and do the procedure now that thing is not there so since you have a scan we have an mri facility inside the operation theater, you will be able to perform it while you are operating and you can stop and then you can finish off the surgery, complete the surgery instead of that cumbersome procedure. Where can you apply this mechanism? This tool is a very advanced tool and this can be applied to many procedures in neurosurgery. So say for example a patient has a tumor, so inside the brain, okay, so and sometimes it is not clearly visible. In many a cases, we miss the tumor. Before reaching the tumor itself, we think that is tumor and we move it. And when we do an intraoperative MRI, it will tell us where exactly we are in relationship to the tumor so that you can approach the tumor properly. And then you have other lesions like blood vessel malformation. We call them as brain vascular malformations. Those also, the vascular abnormality, the blood vessels, there are normal blood vessels and abnormal blood vessels. This MRI will help us where the abnormal vessels are there, where the abnormal uh, lesion is there. It will help us to approach it and remove it completely. So completeness of the tumor also, we should be able to perform it completely. Otherwise, again, that whatever vascular abnormality is there, blood vessel abnormality, it will bleed again. So until and unless you remove it completely, you will not be able to achieve whatever result you want to achieve. So the, when you do an intraoperative MRI, it helps us to tell the completeness of the tumor. We have something called as deep brain stimulation, which we, uh, this is an idea, advanced surgery where we put electrodes in the brain. This is performed mainly in patients with Parkinson's disease. So in them, we actually put those electrodes in a specific location. It is sub-millimeter. So whether we are able to put that exactly in that location where we intend to or not, we can perform that MRI on the table and confirm the location. Previously, we were unable to do so. Previously, what we used to do is we used to put the electrodes, ship the patient for the MRI and check the location of the tumor. And then if you have to adjust, bring back the patient to the operation theater and adjust those leads. Here, it is a real time scan. It will be telling us where exactly the electrode tips are there and how to adjust, whether we have to go a little bit this side, that side, deeper, all this information we'll be able to gather by performing that procedure and other things like patients with epilepsy, that is FITS, commonly called as FITS or convulsions, patients with seizures. So they have, that is called as an epileptic disorder. So in these patients with epilepsy, we are supposed to remove a specific target of that part of the brain. You know, sometimes we, we call it as amygdalo hippocampectomy. So it also, this intraop MRI will confirm that we have removed that part of the brain or not to treat these patients. Okay, this is what mainly it is used for. It is also used for something like pituitary tumors where we are operating through the nostril, putting an endoscope that also, because it's a very narrow corridor, we are unable to see the either side of the corridor, MRI will help us. We do transoral surgeries where we are approaching lesions near the brain and the spine junction. There also, because it's a narrow corridor, the MRI will help us exactly where we are in relationship with the tumor. Okay, to tell you in gist, 
So basically, intraoperative MRI, we have it here in Apollo Jubilee Hills. It has added a new dimension in management of our neurosurgical patients because of its increased precision and accuracy and thereby improving the patient outcome. Thank you.